Could use any of my ideas. Go for it. Steal them. Take them. Boris is behind me. Really pretty cheesecakes. Because I thought it was terrible, but apparently it's really good. Everybody. welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is Emily please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my random ramblings in the future if you aren't new here then it is wonderful to have you back welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the lockdown diaries which is essentially just a big old diary a big old recording of everything going on during the coronavirus crisis and just generally what's going on right now just trying to keep a nice positive spin on things keep it light-hearted you guys absolutely loved my last video where i talked about 10 things i'm not going to do in quarantine so i thought i would give you the other half of that video the yin to that video's yang or yang to yin i don't really know which one means which i am going to go through today 10 things that i will be doing in quarantine which is basically a bit like my quarantine bucket list things I want to do, projects I want to get finished, new things I want to learn. I'm a very proactive person and I can get really fidgety and really agitated if I'm not doing something. So just because I am trying to be super productive, it's just to kind of keep myself distracted. Don't feel like you have to be learning new skills or like doing stuff all the time. If that's not the way that you deal with the situation, that is absolutely fine. You chill, go at your own pace, do exactly what you want to do. But I thought I would jump on here and give you some inspiration if there was something that you wanted to do and you wanted to be a little bit busier like I am. So you can use any of my ideas. Go for it, steal them, take them, go crazy. If you do do any of them, make sure you tag me on any Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, etc. Um, posts that you might make. Um, my Instagram handle is down below along with all of my other socials. I've got a bit of a tight schedule today, which is really weird because it's not really much I can do, but I've given myself a lot to do today. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a nice, short, snappy video. It's gonna be great. Okay, so let's get started with 10 things that I would love to do while we're in quarantine. Item number one on the list is to redecorate my bedroom. If you haven't noticed, I'm already halfway through this process. I have completely painted my bedroom white. It used to be gray before. I've kind of reshuffled a few things around. You can see Boris is behind me, um, which he usually isn't. And I've got some different things on my wall this time. The Polaroids are gone, um, but there is more to come. <laughs> Interestingly, there will be a video on this. I am halfway through this process and it is really exciting. So that is one thing I definitely want to finish before lockdown is over but I don't know if I'll be able to because I don't know where to find the paint that I want to do the rest of the painting, but we'll see. This is a very good project and I've just kind of been renovating my room. It's made me feel like super refreshed. Everything's really bright and airy in here and I'm really appreciating my new indoor environment a lot more than I was before. Um, yeah, I think it's a really good way of appreciating our new environment just by giving it a little bit of love, a little lick of paint. Item number two on the list is to continue writing a play that I started writing in uni um, as part of one of my modules and I'm actually really in love with it so I want to continue writing that play, tweak it, rewrite it, redraft it um, and get it so it's like a good length because also the BBC are looking for screenplays to do with isolation and lockdown and our current situation at the moment so I really actually like to submit that if it's still within the deadline when I finish it. Um, yeah and I really enjoyed writing that so I thought I might start that as like something new. I'm not a great writer so it might be really terrible but I thought it was something a little bit different that I could just that I've already got started as well, so I can just keep going with it. Item number three is to keep moving. As I said, I'm a really fidgety person. I like to be doing something all the time. If you watch my videos a lot, and you will now pay attention to this for the rest of this video and every other video you ever watch of mine, I move my hands so much. I'm a really like physical talker. I talk with my hands a lot. It will really annoy you now because I told you. Um, it really annoys me sometimes, but basically I just can't stay still. So I have started doing Couch to 5K to try and expend some energy. Um, um, which is coming along great. I've also started doing yoga with Adrian, her 30 day home series, which is amazing. I'm currently on day 17 today and it is beautiful, love it. I'm enjoying it so much. So those are the two things I'm doing to like get my blood pumping, get me moving. And it also gives me a really good excuse to get out of the house for my one 
allotted exercise per day. <laughs> Number four on the list is to get baking. I don't bake at all at uni anymore really. I bake like once or twice. When I come home, we've got all the ingredients here, which is amazing. Um, I just find ingredients really expensive to buy at uni. Like you have to buy everything all at once and it's like, oh, crazy. Um, but yeah, I wanna start baking some more adventurous things like um, brownies I've been making a lot of for my brothers and my dad while I'm home. But I really want to um, make some like cute birthday cupcakes for my birthday. And I also want to make one of those really pretty cheesecakes decorated with flowers and fresh fruits and have like a set jelly on top that are like completely vegan and I know exactly the one I want to make it's from a kind of cafe restaurant we went to when we were in Maui and I saw it there and I follow their Instagram I will add in their Instagram profile and the picture of the cheesecake that I want to make because it looks gorgeous I really want to learn how to make that number five is that I really want to do more at home photo shoots I have been absolutely banging these out recently but I really want to get really good at them them. seeing as I don't have a tripod here at the moment because I accidentally left it at uni when I kind of came home in a rush amid all of the craziness that was happening I left my tripod there so I want to come up with really creative ways of taking photos big up the self timer because that is just an absolute godsend at the moment and I want to maybe go out for like a walk in the evening with my mom and we can take photos on our little evening walk that might be really nice number seven is this number seven Number six is that I want to relearn the guitar. This is a really ambitious one because I was never really good at it in the first place. I've never actually had professional lessons. I was just kind of play around with it, but it's something I'd really like to pick up now that I have a little bit more time. Um, I just kind of like to, you know, get back to where I was with my guitar, which wasn't very far anyway, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a goal. Number seven is that I really want to read more books. The only books I've read in the past couple of years have been books to do with my uni course, um, which are great. They're really amazing intellectual pieces of writing and creative pieces of writing. However, I really just want to read a book just for the fact that I just want to read a book. So I got the Testaments book for Christmas and I haven't yet read it, so I'm gonna get started on that ASAP. Actually, I say I haven't read it. I read the first chapter yesterday and it is so good. So I definitely want to finish that by the time quarantine is over. Number eight is that I want to finish my scrapbooking. If you followed me on Instagram or on YouTube for a really long time, you know that I am really into my scrapbooking. I print off loads of photos from my holidays and like birthdays and special events and I will put them all in books because I really like the process of like going back through old photo albums and looking at old photos rather than just scrolling back on my phone or on my computer and while phones and laptops and um, things like memory cards and hard drives can hold so much more I think physically like flicking through an album and looking at photos is just an amazing thing to do so I want to finish sticking in all of the photos that I've got at the moment into their respective albums I've got a big holiday album that I'm filling out at the moment like a big holiday scrapbook so I want to get that done and make that a project that is finally finished <laughs> because it's been going on for years now number nine is again relating to my uni work I created a solo in my last module like a solo performance and as much as I hated working solo, I know that having a solo performance is a really valuable thing for a performer to have. So I want to develop my solo and get it really, really good because I actually got a really good mark, which I was not expecting because I thought it was terrible, but apparently it's really good. So that's kind of inspired me and given me a kick up the bum to make it a better solo um, and just develop it so that I can just whack it out whenever I need to. Um, and maybe I'll perform in the street for my neighbors. Ooh, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> and the last thing on my list is that I wanna learn to do a headstand and maybe even a handstand. Like I said, I've started doing yoga with Adrian and I've seen a video on her channel, which was like how to do a headstand and her headstands are immaculate. And I wanna be as good at doing a headstand as she is. And that's just like a little project, a little thing that I can do maybe over one or two days, just, you know, a little bit on the side. But all in all, those are my 10 things that I want to do in quarantine. So I hope that those have maybe given you guys a few ideas, uh, maybe some inspiration of stuff you might want to do in quarantine. Like I said, if you are not a productive person and much prefer just sitting back and watching the world go by, then girl, good for you. You rock that. Just take everything at your own pace. It is a completely weird situation we are in and any way anyone is dealing with it is completely valid. So you do you, rock whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna be crazily productive because I can't deal with myself. 
if I don't have anything to do. I go crazy. I'm just gonna recap the 10 things I wanna do and then we'll round it off. Number one, redecorate my bedroom. Number two, write my play. Number three, keep moving with yoga and running. Number four, bake cupcakes and a really, really pretty cheesecake. Number five, perfect at home photo shoots. Number six, relearn the guitar. Number seven, read a book. Number eight, finish my scrapbooks. Number nine, develop my solo. And number 10, learn to do a handstand. So that's it, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure coming back on here and delivering you guys with some content to hopefully uplift you in these really weird times. If there are any other videos you want to see from me, any particular content, anything you want me to talk about or do, pop it in the comments. I am so up for taking suggestions. Um, I'm here for you guys, you guys are here for me. It's a big old, big loving family we've got here that almost rhymed. I'm a poet and I don't know it. <laughs> As always, links to all of my socials are down in the description box below, so go check me out on everything, give me a follow. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my random ramblings in the future. And if you wanna check out the rest of the lockdown diaries, I will make sure to link that in the description box as well. So you can go check out everything else that I've been going on, that I've been going on. Go and check out everything else that has been going on in the last couple of weeks for me. I will see you very soon in another lovely video. Look after yourselves, guys. Stay home, stay safe, and I will see you in another lovely video. Uh, bye bye